uh, Princess Road issue. Uh, we currently, in terms of water, as I've mentioned, we face a lot of challenges in terms of the aging infrastructure, climate change, uh, and also, uh, you know, establishing systems within the redundant systems. And also, uh, there is a need to build more reservoirs. So all that is uh, contained in the document which we just released eh, on the 2050 uh, water sector strategy. But uh, in addition to um, climate change and the various challenges, we have uh, an additional one which is called human stupidity. That's what happened in uh, Tamabua, where a contractor damaged the pipeline. So what I'm asking, the Water Authority Board and Executive and also the entities within my ministry, what is the procedure in terms of uh, these contractors? Eh? Consultations before digging and uh, whether they have uh, outlines of where the pipelines are located or other utilities such as EFL. And uh, not only that, but when they are doing their work, it must be monitored by uh, Water Authority, FRA. So that's what I'm stressing to uh, to our uh, boards and uh, and also executive management of the entities in my ministry, for example, FRA, Water Authority, uh, the need for closer consultation. So uh, I am reminding all those within the ministry to ensure that the work is carried out diligently and there is proper monitoring in terms of adhering to uh, work procedures, especially for contractors who are working near the utilities yeah? because you know when they damage things like this it causes a lot of inconvenience and uh, not only economic but also to the women and children out there we apologize for that but uh, this uh, kind of uh, incidents cannot go on eh? and i've asked them also to uh, look at you know uh, reporting them for property damage which might include uh, criminal litigation eh? or charges in terms of that. So uh, it's something we cannot tolerate anymore. I mean, uh, disasters, cyclones and all that is part of the natural process. But this, this incident in uh, Tamago is just, is, uh, is not acceptable. Uh, probably it's within the ministry, within the entities, but basically the contractor was just totally ignorant and uh, it's just careless work by them. Thank you.